I like Rio Motion 2, what are you talking about? Most people don't. <laughs> like, I don't think it's so much that they don't like the song. Most people just don't like the beginning hours. Most people hate how the first thing you see in 10 2 is Yuna being a pop star. I think that's why, I think that's why people associate uh, Rio Motion with being bad. I don't think people hate the song. I think they just hate that opening part. Which I'm gonna be honest, I don't like, I don't like love it. It's not like, oh my god, it's amazing, but I don't mind it. Oh, do I go in the mountain, not the temple? Welcome back. Master Yuga, where's the scripture? I've recovered it. Then, guess I'm going- Okay, Mount Amadar. Just had to check. Yes, it was LeBlanc using a dress sphere. We learn in the opening hours of 10-2 that dress spheres let people take on the appearance of others, or they let your emotions, like, you know, something like that. They like they take control of your body basically. So yeah, I was LeBlanc using a uh, Yuna. No garment grids, not dress spheres. What? Am I okay? I, I know the difference. Garment grids. She took Yuna's garment grids, so it made her look like Yuna, basically. Oh no! Oh no! I hated this map in the original game. This is- this was like probably the worst- all the maps were bad because I had to play as Ark, but this was probably the worst map ever. It had like the Hemojis, and they kept spamming the stupid status ailment. Oh my god, the nightmares are coming back. What an eerie calm. I think you mean an eternal calm. Oh hey, it's the Wind Spirit. You have come to the sacred place with the scripture once again. For what reason have you done this? Is this the Wind Spirit, or is this the Earth Spirit? I wish for you to break the seal that binds the scripture. This scripture contains great power. To receive it requires a special kind of human to wield it properly. There has been no suitable in Amadar recently. And so the scripture remains sealed. Guardian, I shall do whatever it is necessary to be deemed worthy. I have completed training and achieved the level of master. What more is required? Your capacity for good is commendable, but the power you want is dangerous. Since it uses the power of earth, it can destroy this world if used improperly. Okay, this is earth, not wind. Wind, I think, was the tournament, I'm pretty sure. The other risk is to you. The power may be too great for you to absorb. Attempting to receive more than you can absorb may kill you. Knowing this, do you still wish to receive the power called the Madar Fist? My duty is to the country I love and the people that depend on me. I have no choice but to do whatever it is in my power to protect them. To rise against the threat of Milmana, I must risk receiving the power. Guardian of the Earth, I am prepared to risk receiving the Amadar Fist. Iga, you have grown much since you left this place. However, you have much yet to learn. I shall grant the request you ask of me. Sealed heart and scripture shall become one. Iga, you now hold the sacred trust of a Madar. It's your task now to safeguard this inheritance. I shall. Ark, the world is speeding ever faster toward destruction. The black thoughts of humanity continue to grow and soon shall upset the balance. The Guardian shall only be able to help a short while longer. You must redouble your efforts to strike down the root of evil before it's too late. Ah, huh, the root of evil. Sonia. According to the scripture, the Archmonk came here at the Order of Yagoon. But what about the other monsters? There's no account of that, but I'm certain they were under Yagoon's command. Yagoon took my country, my life. Sonia? We have to stop him from killing again. Milmana forces are south of Paces now. There's no time to talk then, we gotta move. I'm going with. I might be able to get a lead on the monsters that killed my parents. That is, if you think you could protect little old me. There's no protection once battle begins, you must fight for yourself. Honestly, I agree. <laughs> like, it's it's man, man or woman for themselves. No damsel in distresses. Okay, enough of that. Let's go. Alright then. Ega now has the power of Earth on his side, or the scripture, whatever. When is Ega stronger? It's all for the better. So south of Paces, is that down here? Oh, to border. Is 
this the Garlau base camp? These pigs have completely sealed the border. They appear to be serious about taking Grayshine. If we strike here, we can at least delay their attack on Paces. Enough talk, time for action. Tosh, just going in clutch. You know what? Tosh would be an idiot just going in like that, but Tosh is really tough. He could take all of these guys. Have you seen his damage output? Who the hell are you? A big problem. Wait, you're... Tell General Yagun that Ark and his companions are here. Yes, sir. Well, Tosh is normally an idiot, but again, he could take him. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. Sir, Ark and his companions have appeared at the border of Grayshine. Ark. Ah, uh, perfect. Ready, get. Grenon? Ready, Grenon for the intercept? Ready Grenon for the intercept. That's probably like your airship or something. But Paces is out of range. Idiot. Don't aim for Paces. Aim for Ark and his companions. It must be like a cannon or something. But sir, the train's cannon's power is too great. Our soldiers will be killed along with Ark if we fire on them. No prize worth the damn comes without cost. Ark is one hell of a prize. So, casualties are understood. Yes, yes, I want all this damn mess... I want out of all this damn mess is Arx's corp. Arx corpse. I said that sentence so weird. Just do it. Yes, sir. All right. Well, this guy is literally like General Ball. He does not care what happens to his soldiers. Why do you just stand there? Are you too scared to fight? They know that Tosh is too strong, so they're not even attempting. What's he thinking? I mean, like, normally, for a normal person, he's an idiot, but, you know, he's not normal. Tosh is not normal. He just jumped into the middle of the hornet's nest. Tosh is one of action, not thought. <laughs> You're telling me. He's kind of like the opposite of me. How has he managed to stay alive this long? This man can cause blood with his sword. Ark has to be around here somewhere. Kill the redhead, we'll work from there. You all heard him, General Yugen has ordered Ark killed at all costs. We'll start by killing one of Ark's band first. Oh, hey guys. This will be entertaining. Give me Elk. Give me Tosh. Uh, Iga, Gogan, and Liza. Love are you guys? 47. Not bad. Let's do a might mind. I want Liza here though. You know what? No, do this. I want to make sure Liza gets the might mind. There we go. Tosh doesn't need it, but oh well. Actually, wait, does magic apply to abilities, or is it literally just magic? I don't know how it works. Oh, hey, Gogan leveled up. Gamer, are you okay? Oh! What on earth is that? Oh, dear. Tosh, counter! I need that overkill. Uh, uh, this looks like a Garlau area in Grandi from Grandia. Goodbye. Can I reach you if you do this? No, I can't. You see Thunderstorm. How can I not? Well, Magic Mind really helped out there. Or Might Mind, rather. Magic Mind sounds better. What's up? It's a boy.
All right, well, for Elk, that was pretty good. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. All right, well... I kind of hate this missile. Well, now I know what that does. There you go. Can I jump over these? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I can. Perfect. That's not gonna aggro to me, is it? It shouldn't. That guy blue rate's weak. It doesn't sound very helpful. Good level up. Alright, I need like I need elk to once I get elk's turn, I'm gonna have him move. Try to take advantage of the magic mind. I don't care if it is called Might Mind, I'm gonna call it Magic Mind, it sounds better. There we go. That shouldn't hit me. Unless the hitbox of this missile is stupid. Yeah, okay, I figured. Oh, now it's aiming on Gogan. Hey, Liza, uh, do a, uh, you have one more Magic Mind, uh, turn? Do your Earthquake. This should kill the skeleton, at least the one that's dying. Might kill the other ones, honestly. Oh, right, they have the, uh, 1 HP thing, okay. I mean, that's cool. I kind of want Ego to get the kill here anyway. Oh, dear. This is like the perfect time to use the thing. Yeah, get him, Gogan. You got this. I believe in you. Okay. Let's have you jump over here. Just for backup. Now, I can do two things. How close are you? You're not that close. You're close, so I think my best bet is to go with a high-speed kick. I'm gonna move you away from the missile, and luckily you're magic, so I can have you do... ...from long range. This is really interesting to have the missile here. Yo, oh, thanks for the Thames grass. Now the question is, do I? How close are you? You're full on health. I'm gonna back attack these guys. I'll give uh, Ego or Tosh that kill. And now we're talking. All right, that missed heavily. That sound effect sounds like when a Mega Man boss dies. That's like when a Mega Man boss is, like, obliterated. Is anyone low on health? No. Oh, Tosh is. I mean, like, I can't reach him. He should be fine, though. No one can reach him. So I gotta kill that skeleton before he decides, hey, I'm gonna get up. There's two of them, though. Just kill him. I don't care about levels right now. I just need to win this. Ideally. Alright, let's do the surround attack. Not this one. Actually, wait. That's not gonna... Will this hit anyone? Alright. Oh, will! Okay, do that now. I did not think that hit two people. It does, though. Dude, I love Iga's attacks. They're great. I can't breach that skeleton, unfortunately. I don't want you to get up, so I'm gonna do this. I can live with that other skeleton hitting me. Can that hit the skeleton? Oh, it can! Nice! Backfired! Alright, let's go this way. Uh, yeah, let's do an Earthquake. Knock you down, then, then Ega will probably kill you. Ow. 
Try this attack now. That's also a really good attack. How many enemies are left? Is that worth it? Yeah, just do it. I want Elk to get 49. By the way, chat, uh, I'm not promising anything, but uh, Legends Arceus comes out next week. I don't want anyone to think, oh, Nova's going to get it. Uh, there's a small chance I'll buy that game. A small, small glimmer of hope that I'll buy that game, but I'm not super focused on it right now. But I do know that, that, that it comes out next week. It does look interesting. Might want to give it a try, but I'm definitely not going to buy it before Forbidden West. That's for sure. Just wanted to bring that to topic, though. He couldn't slaughter his own soldiers to try to kill us. In the process, he eliminated his own outpost. He's crazy! That's the general I came to know. Hi. Sonia, what happened between you and your goon? Not so long ago, Nomana was beautiful, peaceful land like Greyshine. However, once your goon arrived, all that changed. He slaughtered so, so many innocent people. My parents were. When he first arrived in Melmana under diplomatic cover, my parents suspected his motives and hid me. A single act would save my life, as his monsters soon killed my parents. I've lived life in the shadows since that terrible day, plotting my revenge. It's all that sustains me now, the thought that one day I will cut him down. I believe we can all understand your suffering, for we share similar pain. Yeah, if you journey with us, perhaps your opportunity will come. We're all in this together, banded by necessity. You're welcome to join us. You helped save my country from your goon. I owe you a great debt of gratitude now. Please join us so I may have the opportunity to repay it. I will say I do appreciate the game. Like, you know, the game is a large cast. But I appreciate the fact that they're giving everyone a reason to be here. Sort of. Ego. What madness have overtaken you? We cannot win against the forces of General Yagun. Why have you taken it upon yourself to provoke them? I have thought carefully before acting, Majesty. It's in our best interest to resist Milmana to the limit of our ability. If we cannot prevail, it's impossible. That's what Ramalia's war machine wishes us to believe. They trade on the fear and doubt of their prey. But, if we make a stand and fight well, perhaps other countries will follow our lead. We cannot win alone, but with the support of others, there's a chance. But why must we be the country that stands? Can another country... Majesty, it's precisely that kind of thinking that has led Greyshine to this point. I will not waver, the monks of Amandar are prepared to fight to death. All I ask is that you unify the people of Greyshine to rally behind us. Um, I will do my best, but if we lose, what will happen to Greyshine? If we surrender or if we surrender or if we lose, Greyshine's destroyed. The only choice then is to fight. All right, peace out. I could sense strange power from two different places. Rakia and Forless. It's unmistakable. Perhaps they are connected to the Martyr Tower scheme somehow. The power is being channeled to revive something. But, if we can't tell exactly what or where the power is, we can't stop it. Well, we at least know the power is emanating from within those two countries. And the only option for us is to go there and investigate. I've spoken with the king. I sincerely hope he has the will to move the people of Greyshine to action. If he succeeds, Greyshine will remain free from enemy threats. However, he must motivate the people. We now have our own tra trials to face. Andel, Yagun, and Zalbad yet remain. I fear that we are about to witness their true fury. Once that happens, our journey shall become much more difficult. I know which, I know what must be done, and I'm ready. Alright then, let's head to Brachia, then Forless. We must find the source of their power. 
Let's get it. 